Hey guys, this is Anjum Turavi, and today I'm going to teach you topological sorting using a uh, directed graph, you know, of a directed graph. So in exams, they might ask you a question like illustrate the following or illustrate the topological sorting for the following graph. So I've taken this particular graph. Uh, there can be many graphs as well, like directed graphs. And for topological sorting, uh, only directed graphs are necessary. So basically, I know two ways of topologically, you know, sorting the vertices of a directed graph. That is, uh, one is DFS method, that is depth first search method, and the other is source removal method. Among them, I'm going to teach uh, DFS method for now. And in my next video, I'll teach you uh, source removal method. So I'll go with DFS method over here. So I'm going to topological sort the vertices of a directed graph using the FS method. So to topological sort the vertices, we'll start with the uh, tabular columns. That is with the column name stack, adjacent, S, and pop. So I'll start with here. That is uh, in stack whatever I've encountered, I'll write on. I'll write it down in this column. So I'll start with A. That is alphabetically. I'll go and here I'll write it down. So I'm gonna start with A. Uh, so in stack, I'll fill in A itself because for now, in stack there is A. Okay. So adjacent to A. So here in directed graph, adjacent to a particular vertex. For now, we're taking A. So adjacent to A would be B and C because the edge is, you know, facing towards the other vertex. That is, uh, it's going, you know, to the opposite vertex. That is adjacent. And if the edge is coming towards itself, that is that particular vertex is not adjacent to A. That is here. C and B are adjacent to A because its edges are going towards them. But D is not adjacent to A because its edge is coming towards itself. So that is directed towards itself. So I'll again go alphabetically here because for A there are two vertices. Those are adjacent to A. That is B and C. But I'll uh, consider B over here. I'll For the next time I'll go with C. So b now adjacent to a is b so in stack i have encountered b2 so i'll just write it down a comma b over here and now popping out nothing really because uh once we come across like you know if there is a situation that uh, after that particular vertex if there is no adjacent vertex then we'll pop out that particular vertex uh you may not understand now but you'll understand when i continue with this tabular column so in stack we have encountered b2 and we have popped out nothing so in, st in stack there is a and b so we'll just find out what is adjacent to b or a and b so a b is there adjacent to b so this edge is going towards e and g but i'll go like alphabetically so i'll take uh, e so i'm going to consider e here so adjacent to a b e is e so i'll write it down here for S, I've encountered E2, so I'll write down here too. A, B, comma, A. So popping out nothing here because uh, as I said you're right. Uh, that situation haven't occurred now. So there, I'm going to pop out nothing. So now in stack, we have uh, A, comma, B, comma, A because I've encountered A2. So adjacent to A, B, E. Let's see. Adjacent to A, B, E. Um, okay this edge is there but it's you know coming towards e so it's not g isn't as adjacent to e so there is nothing adjacent to e so nothing is adjacent to e so i'm gonna pop out i've encountered a b e it would be the same but here there is as there is nothing adjacent to e i'll just pop out e here okay and we'll go to the next step that is in stack as A is popped out, so in stack, only A and B are remaining. So again, we just check out like if there is an adjacent to A, B, any other vertex. So A, B, 
now e has been popped out so we'll not consider this we'll just forget this thing and adjacent to e a b the next thing is a g so g i'll just consider it here and now i've come across g2 so i'll, I'll write it down g here as well popping out nothing now in stack we have a b and g as well because we have encountered g2 so adjacent to a b g so a b g is there and adjacent to g that is this edge is uh, going towards f so f is adjacent to g so i'm going to take a g over here i'm not taking d because this edge is coming towards it so it's d is, isn't adjacent to g but f is so i should write f here oops it, it is f I just sent to A, B, G is F. I've encountered F here, so I write it down here, F2. I'll add up F here. Now, popping out nothing. Now, in this stack, we have A, B, G, and F as well. So, I just sent to A, B, G, F. We'll just check out with the graph. A, B, G, F. I just sent to F. Hmm, there is nothing because all, all the other marks are coming towards itself, so nothing is just adjacent to F. So nothing. A, B, E, G, F we have encountered, and uh, as G, F has nothing adjacent to it, that is no, there is no adjacent vertex to F, so I'm going to pop out F here. So now in stack, we have A, B, and G because F has been popped out, so we'll not count F here. So in stack, we have A, B, and G and adjacent to A, B, G. F we can't take because it has been popped out, so A, B, G adjacent to A, B, G is nothing because this arrow mark are coming towards itself, so adjacent to A, B, G is there, there is nothing. So nothing is adjacent to G. I'll copy down the same thing over here because we have come across these vertices. And now, as G has uh, no vertex adjacent to it, so I'll just pop out G itself. So now in stack, we have A and B because D has been popped out. So A, B are remaining stack and just gonna check out what is adjacent to B. So G has been popped out, E has been popped out, so we just can't take it. So other, th other, other than E and G, uh, B has nothing adjacent, so B has nothing adjacent now and this thing i'll copy out copy down so b has nothing adjacent to it so i'll just pop out b itself so in the stack now we have a so b has been popped out we are we're just you know in the graph there are only two vertices now everything else has been popped out that is c and b now this vertex is coming this edge uh, from D is coming towards itself, so D is, isn't adjacent to A. So, but C is adjacent because this edge is going towards C. So, for now, A, C is adjacent to A. So, I write down in the adjacent column. I have encountered C as well. I'll add up here, comma C. And popping out nothing. Now, in the stack, we have A and C because C have encountered. So A and C are there in the graph. For, so we got to check out if there is something adjacent to C. So A, C is there and not, uh, all, everything else has been popped out. And to, from C, there is nothing adjacent for C. So there is nothing adjacent to C. Copy down. And for C, there is nothing adjacent. So I'm just going to pop out C itself. So pop out C. So in the uh, stack, the remaining vertex is A. So nothing is adjacent to A now. Only the remaining vertex uh, in the graph is D. But this isn't adjacent to A. So nothing is adjacent to A. And therefore, I'm popping out A itself. And now, in stack, nothing else is there. But there is a remaining vertex in the graph, that is D. 
So I, I'll write it down D here because at the end I'm going to pop out D from the graph as there is nothing else after that. So in the pop column what we have got is our order that is a stop topological sort. So we'll just take, a, take this thing from bottom to top that is from D to E. So we'll just write down here D, D to A, A to C, C to B, B to G, G to F, and F to E. So this particular thing, that uh, linear ordering, this linear ordering is our topological sort of this particular directed graph. Thanks for watching. So if you enjoyed learning, please like the video, do comment, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share. Bye-bye.